Panelist. Uh, so next panelist is Mr. Pranav Patrick Tulshian. So he's going to create his own customized uh, uh, GST desktop app uh, using uh, artificial intelligence. So creating a desktop application, it's always uh, the the pie of uh, you know the developers. Now uh, a chartered accountant Pranav Patrick Tulshian is going to attempt to create a desktop application uh gsc desktop application using ai over to you pranav thank you so much sir first of all i would like to confirm whether i'm visible and also audible yeah go ahead go you sharing my entire screen okay great Okay, so um, thank you first of all. Thank you to ICI for uh, for the for the opportunity. And yes, uh, sir, rightly said that desktop application has always been something that engineers or the coders develop. Today, a CA will attempt to uh, develop a, a desktop application. And also, uh, as as we say that it is something that only engineers do. I'll try to make it as simple as as possible so that anyone watching this can have the confidence that developing and uh developing a desktop application is no more uh very high-end thing and anyone can do it so i'll try that so let's start my end goal is to cater a desktop application it will look something like this you know and uh, let me first show you a demo of how the app will actually look and how will it run okay so i have a small dot pi file if someone is not aware it is just like a txt file okay so you can even just change the uh, uh, what we say extension of this file and when you say it as a txt you can simply open it and view it's nothing rocket science it's a 34 kb file with some text written okay we people call it code so this is a code written and it's a txt file and nothing else so nothing to be afraid ye dot pi domain and the extension nothing else so isko humne uh, cmd se run karte command prompt se and if i do this simple python and this i do something in black window this app comes now you can see this is a entirely a desktop application they even without internet it will work and um, no internet required a very simple application and let me do a demo so i'll select a file i'll do a browse this is how typical applications work right we go to our folder we go to jstr1 click this okay click one json i'll say convert json to excel i'll do okay Something will say number of files selected. This is the file. I'll say okay. Something will do on the back end. We are getting some prints is happening. We do not know what. And then it, this comes that uh, Excel files extracted and kept in the below path. In this path, the files have been kept. So has this converted my uh, JSON to an Excel? Let me see. The path was this GSTR one. And yes, if you see this date modified, the current date six fifteen, and the JSON has been converted to an Excel file. Let us see what uh, what it has done. Typically, a uh, GST1 JSON has list of invoices, as you can see. So the Excel, uh, the JSON has been created into SSN data, and on GST data, and some all combined thing as well. So this is what we are trying to create. So we all know, okay, this is something like a desktop application, right? Because if I click over here, if I click on Contact Us button, a browser will open and a website opens. Okay. If I click on Watch Demo, then a YouTube link opens and this. So it typically working like a desktop application. And uh, yeah, no internet required. Basically, if it won't be internet, then the page not displayed will come. So this is what we are trying to build. So we saw the, our end goal. This is the end goal. So how does it all begin? If I'm to start very scratch, being a CA, how do I start this? So it's a very simple step-by-step -step process, and that's in what next eight minutes I'll be showing it. So 
okay so we'll start with a blank folder uh, we'll start uh, over here and here i'll open a v uh, visual studio code okay now this might sound a bit uh, new for some people but again those who are into coding and who have heard of python they know that it's, it's a normal application where you can view the files okay so i'm trying to so the first thing begins with the design we have to create the design of how the application is look like right so how do we create a design we know excel we know in excel we have the shapes shapes and all so many shapes we have so using all these shapes these are nothing but design okay i have just created this shape one one by one so i just did that this is a uh, how i want the app to look like this is my first thought of process that i want something like this ki kuch aisa rectangle ho then kuch aisa ho then browse button hona chahiye then any buttons hona chahiye now this design i did and i gave this design to uh, our favorite chat gpt and uh, let's see what it uh, gave me back okay so i gave this design to chat gpt that this is the design i want to have and hi i want you to help with me help me with an app development using the python coding basically i need a simple gui using python simple gui module so this is these are the basics like uh, anyone who is very new to python and learning it for the first time cannot do this because he will whatever code he he might get he will have to learn the basic of vs code what is the modules what are the basics of python like at least 3 to 4 hours we need to watch a video and then he will get some idea of how python looks like what are the modules and all because when we give some good prompts that is when you get good answers so i have given the prompt of what i want to use i also given which version of py simple gui i want to use because i i already do coding so i know that with this version we need to use so it gave me a code so as we said whatever code we get sorry whatever code we get will simply come here we'll create a new file let's create a new file over here i'll say just a demo file v1.py okay so dot py is important because the python file now to run this now these are some basic python code given now to run this we need to again come over here and try running it uh we know how to run a python code it's basically simple python and demo whatever the name of the file is the python demo file v1 so when i run this if you see now it has given me already this design okay but you see there's a lot of flaws now so first of all if you see i needed it as multiple tabs but it has given me buttons separately i didn't need the buttons now currently buttons are also not functioning it is the simple the design is fine also i wanted this at the bottom if you see my design this gen was at bottom right but uh, it has given me somewhere here but that's fine i have to correct it so i'll reprompt it and i'll give the same errors which i failed that three boxes are not the buttons but they are tabs so that i can switch between the tabs so these three tabs need to be created and also the contact us and buttons are to be placed in the bottom okay this is what i said this so it uh, did the correction let's see so v1 is there let's create v2 demo file v2 dot py and that is why we have versions in application if you see whatsapp or facebook we have these versions right because code is never developed in a day code takes time to develop so version 1 was not what we need so we developed version 2 so let's close this version 1 and let's run version 2 if you see version 2 now if we see it has understood what i wanted gstr1 combine gstr1 gstr2 b combine gstr to be combine gstr to be excel convert json to excel and this now if you see the buttons are not in the right shape right it has become small it has become big so here is where you will need to understand the coding so i really do not agree fully that uh, ca don't need to learn coding uh, they need to learn some basics because otherwise they can never make such changes and without these changes the app will really not fructify okay so if you see i know that this size are a bit bigger and that is why it's not adjusting so i'll just simply change the size length simple and i'll rerun the code and you will see the size of the buttons have been adjusted i'll rerun the code now the size are pretty much okay so still you can adjust it again but yeah it's fine so now if you see this app is of, is of no use to me because if the buttons do not just not do anything okay i'll just simply click on it nothing will happen so i have to add life to these buttons okay So now adding life to buttons. All of the last two minutes. Sure. Let's ask ChatGPT to add some life. So I've uh, said this that there are some combine of Excel and I just wanted to give the names of the files which were entered. So it gave me a code. Let's copy and create a version three. Create a version three and 
then run the code. And you see some life has been added because now you can browse, you can have this button, you can select some files and you can say something and it will say number of files selected. So the buttons have been given live. If you see the watch demo term, the links have been added to these buttons. Now, till here the chat GPT can help you. Beyond that, there is no possibility that chat GPT can help you much. Now, if you really want to create a code which will combine GSTR or convert the JSON to Excel, you might need to take help of some code which are pre-returned using GitHub. So I'll show you this GitHub link and GitHub, if uh, you do not know, GitHub is a massive collection of, sorry, GitHub is a massive collection of all the codes which are there. So you'll find the GST, I have made this repository AI hackathon and using this you can copy the code to convert GSTR JSON to Excel. So when you copy this code, you'll get something like, I've copied this entire code. Now in the V3, I'll simply make a copy of V3. I'll name it as V4. And when I do V4, I can add these codes over here. The code which is written here. And when I add this code, definitely you need to understand what this code really does to get a more uh, better idea. And then when you finally run the V4 version, you'll see uh, that uh, the thing which you wanted to do that the um, the converting the technology time is up structure is done I'll just show a small demo yeah, yeah that was a wonderful uh, presentation Pranavo I know you. yeah there are a lot of uh, you know participants uh, in this session would think like you know I've seen some chat messages where uh, should it is too technical how should I write a code how should I write like mm. that I want to inform everyone through your presentation that our leadership two years back they have collaborated uh, this Python and other tools as a part of advanced information technology training to the students. I believe from last week onwards, after the announcement of the Board of Studies, Python is integrated into the CA syllabus. And maybe your presentation would have really helped uh, people who have doubts on writing codes and running a Python script. Thank you so much, Pranav. Thank and so much. Uh, any other questions by other uh, panelists? All right, negative, fine. So let me move on.